adventures in uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Dubai. Yep. This is my very good friend, Adam Slade, which I also abbreviate to Slink because you're so tall and thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how tall are you? Six or seven. And how many times a day do you get asked that question? <laughs> Five of you. Five of me? And a few others. Yeah. Cool. So the significance of today, other than the evident title of what's happening, is that if you are a subscriber of this channel from day one, and I mean like three videos in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Slink filmed the collection of the very first 458 Speciali, the Grigio Silverstone one, on an iPhone 6, yeah. things have changed. Yeah, things yeah. have changed. Now, back then, that was a dream. Today, I sti I'm still not taking oh. it on board. I'm on my way now to collect a TDF. I mean, those words. Did you ever think you'd say that? I, I'm honest to God, I'm getting, I'm actually getting, I'm getting physical goosebumps. It's, I don't know, like I can't process it. Even though we're on our way now, I still can't process it. Up to this point, it has eluded me every step of the way. I never got an invite to buy one because back when they launched them, I had nowhere near the uh, history of ownership yeah. or credibility <laughs> to own one, uh, or the funds either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so all of these things have evolved over the years and unbelievably, we've managed to source a delivery mileage TDF. In what world, Slink? TDF, I'll call it that's... In what world? That. <laughs> so, yes. we're going to film this up with fuel. Uh, Slink is here to help document the day, because I find on these days I become so giddy with excitement that I generally do quite a poor job of focusing on the topic at hand, and Slink is historically very good at that. So, we're going to top this up with fuel. Uh, Slink's driving this car back, which I'm sure you're excited yeah, about. Yeah, I am. Can't wait. Good time. See the difference from the old GT. Let's do it. Ah, oh, petrol station's busy. See you in a minute. You seen this? You seen this here? It's like 27 pounds more than the amount of liters I put in this GT3. What is going on here? What's going on, Sling? <laughs> For those of you who have been following the channel over the years, you might be familiar with Dave here at. Ferrari Winslow, absolute legend, ninja salesman, and goes way out of his way to make things happen for you, hence the TDF. <laughs> yes, here we are. This, this place is always good. Look, that, that, that would be the car. Good God. Wander down. Oh, it's really busy. Oh, they got an 812 in as well. And that shade, that, that. Grape looks quite cool there. What do you think? That actually yeah, suits, that suits that car. I think if you were to spec that on a screen, you would think that looks a bit dull, but that actually works well. I'm gonna go. So on. this plate isn't going on today because it has to come on the original plate, which is actually quite a cool plate. Check out the depth of characters on that plate. It's so crazy. That isn't going on right now. And it, it might not ever make it on, but 2JWW will go on the TDF soon. And then the big two. Yeah. Order form. This is when it gets a bit real, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a real bit now. Okay, so then. I just need one autograph there, please. Sure thing. And just one on there. Thank you. Your copy is already in the folder. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you, lads. This is happening. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> It is not official. It's not official, man. This doesn't feel real, day. It's not official. Crikey. And we only had the money to get five cars, and this is one of those five. So it's, it's a special car. Okay. But right then, All right. are we ready? Check it out. So you're saying it has a special fuel cap? It might just have a special fuel cap. It might just have a special fuel it cap. It might just have. We were allocated okay. just one of these. Okay. I remember Under seeing the this cover. thing, and it's I'm like sure. disproportionately sexy. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, titanium. Titanium, that's titanium. all we need titanium. to say. Carbon fibre and titanium. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Come on, Dave, I'm, I'm like the about to burst. I'm about to burst, I'm about to burst. Yeah. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. Utterly ridiculous. The skull, I'm not sure, for those of you guys who might have not seen one of these in person, it's one of the cars that I think photography never does the sculpture on these things justice. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> That's so much effort to blow you, really. It's, it is, it is a crazy special. car. It is a crazy car. I could stare at it for hours. Every time I look at it, I always end up seeing something I haven't seen. Well, you know what? We're still the same now. Yeah. I think initially, people's view is it, it's an F12 on steroids. Yeah. That, that does not do it justice. Right, so what you'll find with Ferrari, whenever they do a really special edition car, yeah. they tend to have that with the matte carbon fibre and Alcantara. Yeah. So that's the look that you've got here. It kind of reminds me of like a comfortable XX car. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because XX has all had matte carbon. That's right, right yeah, yeah. I mean, just seeing this door insert makes me feel like I'm kind of stepping into a 599XX-ish. You know what I mean? You're probably that. not wrong. Yeah, probably not wrong. This is that way. And also the flooring, which you probably haven't noticed before, it's got the technical fabric. Yeah. So normally it's just heavy duty thick carpets. Yeah. But you feel you know, you feel across here now. Oh yeah, of course. And bizarrely, that's work. actually bulletproof and cut proof. And it was developed um, in relation with NASA and also the army. <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy, crazy technology. This is what I'm talking about, the crazy amount of technology. details on this car that you don't appreciate until you, I mean, you can literally point at something and everything seems to have a story about it. I think every time I see the car, I yeah. see something different. Now, I think it's just down to it's lightweight and also resilient. Yeah, like it still smells factory fresh. So it's 108 miles, is it? Uh, 108 miles. So it's essentially brand new, really. And when you think that we've serviced the car twice, so we, we PDI the car and had yeah. to road test it. Right. Service one, we had to road yeah. test it. Service two, we had to road test it. I think the original client used it twice. Wow. And that's it. Crikey. So 108 miles, you're probably going to do more than that today. Uh, I definitely am. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, when you look at every single panel compared to the F12, which obviously you know them very well, yeah, yeah. every single panel is different. And even the things, you know, you, you look at this and it looks fantastic. But when you get to the inside of it, yeah. you see that there are twin spoilers in there. Oh, just, crikey, to, yeah. just to direct the air differently. Wow, that's incredible. Everything that's on here, it isn't cosmetic. This this function, it's yes. there for a reason. I mean, matte carbon in the headlights, I'm all about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. It's, it's crazy. And that was an option. So it, was it, it? It's, yeah, it's just okay. Okay, so I've learned by now in the comments section, thanks to you guys, to show you as much detail as possible. And I'm sure there's some of you wondering how much of a difference is the titanium cap to the uh, brushed aluminium cap. Well, it just so happens I have the original one here. So if we put them next to each other, it is quite subtle, but one was a much more primary silver. And this is obviously a brushed titanium, which has just taken that sort of massive contrast off it. The great thing about it is it ties it in really nicely with the titanium wheel bolts here, which I thought was always a little bit odd, maybe to have something so contrasting against something so lightweight and darker down there. So all they've got over here is like a carbon candy store of accessories that you can get for your car. And this is where they got me with this one. Um, I think the idea for me behind this was that the car is clad in so much carbon fiber and titanium. And while this does look a beautiful piece of sculpture on the side of the car, it was, it was like a real standout contrasting bit. Whereas the titanium's dulled it down a bit and also tied it in nicely with the titanium wheel bolt. So now I feel this like synergy and it has a little prancing horse, which makes me sleep better at night. So it's all cool. And this is the cave of carbon and the accessories, which you can order. Now, the fun thing about this is not every accessory in here is always available from factory. I know that sounds weird, but what often happens with Ferrari is that they'll make it a car for a certain amount of time. Uh, they will then get feedback from clients and to ask for various different features. If enough clients ask for it, they then sometimes release it as a genuine accessory. Uh, case in point, we've got things like 
carbon fiber door handles, um, aero duct for the 488 GTB, different wheels which actually sometimes aren't available on your standard spec list. You often have to go to the factory to actually see these things. And then over here, more carbon. If you watch the video where I did the service on my Speciali, uh, these extended or hyper extended F1 style paddles were shown then. I think mostly they are just aesthetically cool, but the big paddles actually come standard on the F12 TDF which I think is a nod to their racing heritage. That's where these big paddles come from. So yeah, you can get all sorts of bits. I think even um, if you wanted to retrospect matching luggage to your car, you can also do that, which is what these are all about. Yeah, this might seem OTT, but I think cars like this and cars like Ferrari in general, it's all about these little details that set them apart. Case in point, every time I look at this thing, there's something new and now I have a lovely little expensive paperweight to put on my desk. All right, man. Are we ready? <laughs> yes, about that, about that sound. The last time I heard something like that, it wasn't road legal. Into first, auto off. And we're rolling. First turn of the wheel in the new F12 TDF. What is life right now? Oh wow, I've, I've moved all of 10 feet and I can tell that there is absolutely immediate torque available. Listen, I, I swear to you, by the grace of Marinello, that was about 5% throttle. Did you hear those valves? Oh, it's effortless. It feels, it feels so light. I mean, we haven't even started really turning it in, but just the way that it builds momentum. Oh, good Lord. Did you hear how quickly that downshifted and we're absolutely chilling right now? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, this is an absolutely brand new, like factory fresh car, so I do want to respect it and run it in correctly. But by God, the sound of it is intoxicating. I can't really give it the full beans because I, I genuinely want to run this in right. I mean, big, high revving. Wow, look at the response of that V12 engine. Um, yeah, I want to make sure the balance of this thing is beautifully swift when it has some miles on it. Rest assured, we're going to be doing a proper sort of first drive video once it's ready. I'm not sure if you guys watched the Speciali version of that. Uh, we took that to the Evo Triangle in, in Wales and that worked out incredibly well. But because that car had quite a few miles on it when I picked it up, <laughs> I'm not, I swear to you, we're 8% throttle, maybe 10, this, this thing doesn't need an exhaust, let's put it that way, I can't wait to rev this thing out, I'm going to produce a proper first drive video, there's some pretty big plans for that, but I cannot tell you why I'm on absolute cloud nine, dreamland, different planet feeling right now. Uh, I never thought this day would come. I'm, I'm, I'm driving out of the Ferrari dealership in a delivery mileage TDF. I don't think I need any more words than that, do I? That's, that's where it's at. It's absolutely sensational. The sort of dexterity of it, you can actually tell, and I've barely spent any time with this, but you can tell. I'm trying to recall 
as best as I can what it was like driving the F12, which felt a sort of longer car that I used to describe it as steering it from the front because it was so long. When you turned, you were aware of this, this mass, this nose in front of you turning. With the virtual short wheelbase on this, the rear wheel steer, it seems to have eradicated that. It feels so agile. It feels like a rear mid-engine car, not a front mid-engine car. I don't know how they've done it, but it's magic. Absolutely magic. So I want to go into great detail about the ethos of this car and what it's all about, but I'm saving that description for the proper first drive. Today was very much taking you guys along for the journey of collecting the car. Thank you so much for watching. Those of you guys who have been long-term subscribers, thank you so much for being part of this journey so far. We're two and a half years into the Mr. JWW YouTube channel. Never in a million years when I started this did I believe that we would be sharing craziness like this. And there is lots more to come. This is gonna be no garage queen. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna tell you what it's like to live with as a long-termer. And as soon as this engine is bedded in, we're gonna rev this thing out to 9,000 revs in some tunnels and show you what a proper, naturally aspirated, hyper GT Ferrari V12 is all about. As always, oh my God, have you heard how fast that drops down? The F12 sensation is coming back straight away. Do you remember when I used to say I'd find myself changing gears for no reason, just because I was playing it like an instrument? Watch how quickly this downshifts. <laughs> oh, it's got a kick as well when you shift. They've dialed in a bit of a kick in the back. Oh, God. I've got goosebumps again. I never got round to consuming that thesaurus. I'm really gonna have to do that because the superlatives required to immerse you guys in what it's like to be in this thing. <laughs> oh, and I can tell there's gonna be some subtle barbels and pops and bangs on the overrun. It feels very light. now. Ferrari typically shave around about 90 to 100 kilograms off their special edition lightweight cars. With the TDF, they've shaved 110. I mean, they've really gone to town on that. And most of that is through carbon fiber and ultra lightweight seats. I wanna save all of this for the first drive because there's so much information, but also is super important is the story of this car, its ethos, where it originated, and just the mindset of Ferrari when they were building this was to take no prisoners. This car is designed to be a real engaging drive that you really have to be on your toes to respect and appreciate and get the most out of this car when it's going fast. You gotta be on it. So I shall spend some time getting used to its characteristics and then we'll bring out the big guns, the drones, the fantastic scenery and make a phenomenal first drive video, which this car deserves. As always, please leave comments below. I love to hear your feedback and questions. It's an understatement to say... <laughs> it's an understatement to say that we don't get the opportunity to live with these cars every day but to have the opportunity to, sh to share it with you and to be able to react directly with your questions and feedback. And what a world we live in. I can't wait to share this. So until then, thanks so much for watching and I shall save this glorious V12 until next time. Ciao.